How's it going, fish fam? Welcome back to a brand new reaction. Today, we're going to be checking out episode 68 and 69 of One Piece. Uh, I just realized I'm like three months into like this channel and uh, probably there's quite a few of you who are wondering like, what the fuck is fish fam? And uh, why is your name Spartan Fish? From like first modern warfare my gamer tag has just always been spartan fish um that's what it is on everything it's kind of stupid to say that but like i got to keep in touch with a lot of my friends despite us moving all over the place after you know high school after college we all sort of stayed in touch through video games and stuff like that so the name spartan fish it just you know means a lot to me and fish fam is kind of like a holdover from when I was, you know, still consistently streaming on Twitch. You suck for choosing Ari, bro. He swallows for choosing Nico. What the fuck? Hello? Did uh, card game streams on Twitch. Everything from like Hearthstone when it was first like really big and popping off. That was around the time that I first started streaming. Um, you know, I grew up more or less playing Magic the Gathering. I've just done a lot of different things as far as content creation and Spartan Fish has just always kind of been a part of that. So I just wanted to bring that over with me on this new sort of chapter, new journey. I mean, it, fuck, I even, I have the tattoo of like my original Twitch logo. <laughs> so at this point I'm pretty committed. So I figured I might as well just bring it over to YouTube, you know? I, I normally try and like prepare what I'm going to say as far as like a recap going into these episodes. Uh, like I mentioned at the end of the last video, I don't really know what to expect anymore. So at this point, I'm kind of just rolling with it. Um, I know when I pulled up these episodes to get them started, I did see, I think, Kobe and Helmeppo in the thumbnail. So are we checking back in with Kobe and Helmeppo? Because that's... That's definitely a throwback, right? We haven't seen them in forever. Um, if that's the case, I guess, you know, we're, we're here for it. So let's just get into it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Bro just immediately cuts away from a serious discussion be like... <laughs> Bro ate the fucking fish food? Yeah, he ate all the bugs? Yeah, you're just gonna use the duck as bait? <laughs> yeah, like, to be fair, it's Luffy. He's not gonna care about anything. Bro, she lives in the Grand Line. She's gonna be like, who? <laughs> yeah, that's the only one she's heard of. Ah, good trend, good transition, good transition. I like that. Okay, we're not just nonsensically uh, gonna go watch them. It's because Luffy wants to know what they're up to. So so do we. I like that. I'm gonna look at the title for this one. I don't care. Yep, Toby Meppo. Yeah, we're shipping them literally. He's in charge of a ship? Wait, is he in charge of multiple ships? He's already an officer? Well, I mean, I guess Luffy's already has a 30 million bounty, so that's not that crazy. He's dreaming, okay. <laughs> We're having a dream sequence. I see, I see. Leo, why do you have to be such a freak when I'm recording, bro? You sleep all day, and then I go to record and you demand I play with you. <laughs> bro, everyone hates them. Chore boy? Damn, bro. Luffy used to be a chore boy, it's okay. Everyone has their choy- their choy boy? Yeah? Their chore boy arc? Yeah, why does he have to be a chore boy, actually? Can't he just... Fuck off? Like, why do we need him? You're Coco. 
Yeah? You're a grown man having someone else bring you cocoa? No, your dad being a piece of shit to everyone is why he lost this title. Luffy just beat him in a fight. Everyone else hated your dad. <laughs> yeah, bro. Take accountability for something. Yeah, bro. You're gonna get your ass kicked. <laughs> Damn, bro, Helmeppo's weak as shit. Kobe's beating the shit out of him. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna cut it, boys. Oh, no. Yeah. How? How did you avoid being kicked out? You should be in jail. Work for... Yeah, they made you slaves? Damn, I was really expecting a Hell Meppo wanted poster. No, a Kobe wanted poster there. Hell Meppo wanted poster. Who the fuck would want a Hell Meppo wanted poster? For what? Bro, why did you let him keep the axe hand in prison? Why did you let him keep the axe hand? Yo, <laughs> the dog hat in the anime is even funnier. Bro just really has that dog in him. Edit that out. Are we gonna see Garp versus Morgan or something? Is he gonna try and escape? I'm, I'm calling it right now. That's some jelly donut. He took his own son hostage. He's stirring up trouble? Yeah? Obi is the one stirring up trouble? Okay, buddy. Oh! Oh, no, he actually cut him? I thought he cut his donut, bro. Okay, so... The fact that I've already seen the live action means I know that Garp is Luffy's granddad, right? Which I'm assuming is supposed to be a huge fucking reveal later on. But the fact that I already know... Bro, I could... I feel like I would have been able to tell. I would have been like, bro, I, I would have at least had an inkling that he's... That they're connected somehow because he's such a fucking goof. And his first introduction is also him just talking about eating the same way Luffy's was. I feel like I would have drawn the connection myself eventually. Yeah, you're gonna capture him? Bro, you're a chore boy. Bro, anime Garp is so fucking goofy. Him eating donuts a million times funnier than him eating a comically large steak. Bro, this is the- I like how they're doing the, like, Luffy and Nami moment. <laughs> but, like, with Kobe and Helmeppo. I don't know why, but it's so funny. His heart grew three sizes that day. Just to be clear, those navy boats could easily catch Morgan, right? All they have to do is even remotely try, and they'd be able to catch him. Damn. They're on their way. They're chasing after Luffy. I mean, that was a cool... I like the way they, like, introduced us to it, if that makes sense. Like, how at the beginning of the episode, it wasn't just like, Alright, here's Luffy and Helmeppo episode now. You know, it was... They, they weren't Luffy and Helmeppo episode. Jesus, bro. 
I'm out of it. <laughs> I like the fact that it wasn't just a Kobe and Helmeppo episode from the beginning. It was Luffy, and then, you know, they're doing their normal shipboard shenanigans, and he says, Oh yeah, I, you know, I remember my buddy from back then. Well, I wonder what he's up to. Cut to what he's up to. I liked that version of it rather than it just being like, you know, here they are. Because I, if I'm not mistaken, they did something like pretty similar with the, uh, with like the buggy episodes where at the beginning of the first one, they kind of... <laughs> they like showed the last time we saw him and then we kind of like picked up from there versus like yeah this is where he's at right now you know and then we did have the one scene where he's just like wow flying by in the background or whatever right but yeah yeah that was kind of a cool way to just catch back up with people that we haven't seen since i don't even know like episode five or something like that seems like a lifetime ago at this point um yeah, that's wild. Uh, okay, I guess we're going on to episode 69. <laughs> okay, buddy. Yeah, let's keep dreaming, huh? Uh, yeah, mademoiselle. Oh no, Usopp's gonna come in and try- Yep, there he is! Yeah, it's like some fucking slop in a bowl or something, right? What the fuck did he do?! Bro, how are we supposed to get water now? Del Bro, shaking my head, these fucking delivery services. <laughs> She's really complaining about delivery services being too slow in the middle of the fucking ocean to a random fucking boat. So it's very clearly an article about his granddad, and he doesn't acknowledge that at all, but he's just like, oh, Kobe's in the grand line. He's just stoked about his friend. Does he not know it's his granddad in the anime? Yeah, you guys got a train. Yeah, bro. No one told you to choose this dream. You chose it for yourself. Now are you going to actually try and make it happen or what? Oh no. <laughs> Thank God Garp showed up because I was about to start like, you know, giving more inspirational speeches and then I would have to edit in the you know, Shia LaBeouf meme, and it'll be a whole thing. <laughs> Two billion push ups. Damn. He set him straight, huh? Yeah, that, that dude with the hat is giving some like. Secret police type vibes, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> he is a vice admiral, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know about pretty promising. <laughs> Damn. I mean, compared to like how hell Meppo treated her when we first met him, it's kind of nuts, like how attached she, I mean, 
probably because of Kobe, but like over time she became so attached to him. Excuse me? Bro is a whole owl? Just turned his head 360? <laughs> Bro switched up so quick. If you want to go back to living like that, you have to do something to make that happen, bro. You can't just talk about it. Yep. That's the way. Yep. And to do that, this is the first step, bro. Then he'll die. Yeah. Damn, even indirectly, Luffy is inspiring people to go after their dreams. Hell yeah. We're beginning Kobe's Giga Chad arc. Okay. Wait, but how much sleep are they getting? Because that is still important. And that is still a piece of the puzzle. No, not Kobe getting Giga Jack, bro. Oh no. Hell, Meppo's gonna start mewing. Damn. Bro does not know how to keep quiet at all. They are constantly being found out. <laughs> they have never had a secretive conversation in their lives. Exactly. Damn, he trained so hard he doesn't even need glasses. I, I can see. I can fight. He can see. <laughs> he can fight. Yeah, I don't know how they thought this fight was gonna go, but probably a lot like this. I'm guessing it's a lot like this. I mean, it definitely seems that way. Yeah. Well, he'll overlook it because he has his own situation, right? He has a similar situation, so of course he'll overlook it. <laughs> Just one-handed. Just beating the shit out of both of them. I imagine we're gonna get it eventually, but I'm, uh... I'm already kind of excited to see that dude fight Zoro. I know it'll be a thing at some point, right?
My Chio. <laughs> They're doing pirate shit in their sleep. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, I I'm glad that we did have an episode where we're like catching back up with people that we haven't seen in a while. Um, obviously, that's going to be happening like more and more throughout the series as we're like continuing on but it it feels like right now is especially like a really good time for that kind of thing to happen like we're in between stuff right we're going from point a to point b right now so it seems like as good a time as any for us to kind of just you know catch back up with everyone that we've been missing and see what it is that they're really up to right now um, because, like, it, it, obviously we're not going to be doing that during, like, big fights and stuff like that. Um, so I like that they sort of take this downtime as, like, an opportunity to not only just, like, world build, but make sure that, you know, people who might not necessarily be top of mind for us as we're watching the show, um, they're still like, hey, just so you remember... Kobe and Helmeppo are still here. They're doing their thing. This is what's going on with them. And then I'm assuming that's going to like continue to be a theme throughout the show because so many people have kind of talked about it to me that like they don't really most people from what I understand don't watch One Piece for the fights. The fights are, you know, cool later on and they get to be you know, exciting as we continue with the show. The fights basically just kind of serve as a way to more or less build up the characters at this point. Like, they're not really for anything else other than just expanding on, you know, the relationships that we have already and kind of developing those out further. And I gotta admit, I really like that aspect of the show so far, where a large part of the fights is just built around you know character development and then we're spending our downtime just kind of like exploring those relationships and kind of going back and forth to see you know how we've progressed since those fights i guess that's just like a really long-winded and kind of word salady way of me just saying i'm enjoying watching the show so far <laughs> I could have just said that probably and cut five minutes out of this video, but um, I don't know. I, I definitely like getting to talk to you guys in the comments about it. Um, I, I'm interested for those of you who like have seen One Piece so far, like in terms of the anime or reading the manga, um, or even like my live action watchers, I guess. As far as the whole, like, Garf Luffy thing, did that come as a surprise to you guys? Was it something that was kind of hinted at for a long time and was pretty expected? Or was it just, like, totally out of left field? Like, yo, what the fuck? Don't forget to hit the subscription button down below. Make sure you tap the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new One Piece reaction video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.